sex that made me think in a different way, in my opinion, was Plato's Allegory, which was the first thing that we read in class and the most confusing in my opinion. There's the people that are so used to living in darkness that they don't believe reality when they come into the light. I loved Frederick Douglass's narrative. I thought it was really inspirational. One text that really changed the way I think was John Locke, an essay concerning human understanding. I think my favorite text would have to be The Letter from Birmingham Jail by Dr. King, On Liberty by John Stuart Mill. What I really found myself like very passionate about during this whole program was the Declaration of Sentiments. So one text that I really loved was Antigone mostly because I love the plays, like the dramatics of it all. I think it's really fun to read and what made it even more fun was that we acted it out as a cohort together. That was a really important conversation or discussion to have with my peers on what it means to be just. I just really loved her compassion for her family and just her like sense of justice to follow what order she thought was right. But as soon as you flip your perspective and try to think about why Creon acted the way he did, you can see that maybe he was the hero all along. and timid, antisocial and brooding. My conversations can't last and I fail to have a presence. I sit alone at lunch, my headphones in at all times of day. I disappear randomly and ask an unhealthy amount of questions. Who would want to associate with someone like this? Not me seems to be the right answer, but if so, you are all wrong. You all welcome my quietness with nothing but kindness and enthusiasm. You answer my questions with confidence. You check if I'm okay, even as I sit alone on the ramp in learning. Never have I had so much fun discussing the whys of the world, reading blocks of text that I would have seen as a chore a month ago. Never have I enjoyed arguing so much, for every argument challenges my beliefs more than I ever have. Never have I wanted to be criticized so much. Never have I wanted to be proven wrong so much. Never have I challenged myself to find the outlandish rather than understand. Never have I not found education as a chore. Never until I came here. And I am truly grateful for this, for I could never have done this without you. So as our time together nears its end, I would like to thank you all, for I could not imagine how I would look without this. I hope we continue to challenge one another. I hope we continue to argue. I hope we continue to ask questions because we are at the forefront of the next generation and I am proud to be a part of it.